actually started painting in 1989, so that would be 15 years or thereabouts. And it's fun working uh, on stuff in restaurants and bars because people come over and take a look and uh, a lot of them end up being customers and uh, friends or both. There's no uh, distinction. It's not either or friends or customers. It's, it's the same thing really. Uh, a lot of people, they go to work and then uh, that's one segment compartment of their life and then after then they do whatever it is that gives them pleasure and uh, you know, I feel really lucky because I can combine I can work and have fun at the same time and uh, sometimes it's too much fun though you know everybody has some idea about whether there's uh, life after death or not uh, and everybody knows some people absolutely know it's Jesus or Satan heaven or in hell I kind of lean towards thinking that once we die, our individual personality is just gone. And, and, you know, I have friends that believe in reincarnation and this and that, and that's fine, but I don't know anything about what's gonna happen after I die. So just in case, I wanna leave a lot of great stuff behind. I thought I might call it Mangia Evoluciano because it's evolution and time and space, matter, energy, light, gravity, all that junk. Imagine atoms and molecules all the way up to stars and galaxies, and then here we are somewhere in between all that stuff and a part of all that. The stuff that uh, makes up our physical material is recycled material from exploded stars billions of years ago and all that kind of stuff. We preserved the mural because uh, it's such an integral part of what the restaurant was before my partners and I came here. I, I adore it, I think it's awesome. I think it's absolutely amazing that he's worked for this long on this mural. And, you know, he doesn't receive any monetary compensation for this. You know, we, we feed him whatever he wants here at the restaurant, but it's impossible, you know, several times a day. I wish that I could be that happy with that few needs in life. Wayne's artwork is very inspirational for me. I paint too, but he's a very free style. You know, there are no boundaries, no limitations. Anything goes, and I think that's what attracts me most to it. It's like being in a dream. I guess that's the way I can explain it. It's like there's these in-between worlds, sort of say. And there's always something going on in his mind. It kind of consumes him. And Wayne lives through his work, through his paintings. Gives inspiration to other people. He does what he wants to do, not what people are telling him to do. I love Wayne's artwork. I think, like him, it's uh, colorful, eccentric. Every time you talk with him or see his artwork, you find out something new. Uh, every inch of it tells a different story. Um, and I feel sorry for anyone who sees his artwork or meets him and is not inspired because it exudes positive energy. So uh, one day I was sitting there drawing with him and, uh, and uh, he said, want to try some colors? I was like, yeah, you know? And it was my first time ever dabbling with paint. I ended up doing this painting. This one is uh, Wayne from 1977, back when he was Buddy Frankenstein. I had a dream back around the same time that I was uh, hanging out at Wayne's house all the time and it was Miles Davis was in the dream and I was having this conversation with Miles Davis. And, uh, and I remember Miles Davis said to me in the dream, he said, creativity is man's way of getting over it. And it is capitalized I-T, meaning uh, whatever, whatever you're going through in life, uh, it, you know. And so, so I, I see art as a way of like tackling these problems in, in, in life and in, in society. I see artists' role in society as uh, an answer to, to the vulgarities of life uh, with beauty. I always imagine the, even years from now, people looking at my stuff, whether it's in a restaurant or in somebody's living room, and you know, it might be some stormy night and there'd be a few people sitting around having some wine and discussing, you know, great works of world-class genius or whatever. And, oh, by the way, here's some of Wayne's stuff on the wall. And then famous old stories will come up. Because I always enjoy listening to stories about other people, whether it's Gaslight Square or, you know, the Roaring Twenties or whatever it might be. While I'm working, I can daydream and fantasize about uh, where this piece is going and who's going to see it. And, uh, you know, this mural, a lot of times there'll be families in for dinner and 
uh, parents with their little kids and the kids will go up and down and look at different things and maybe one of those kids is going to kind of get that spark in his or her brain. A couple times when a uh, kid will come over and I'll say, hey, uh, try this at home when mommy and daddy are asleep. And uh, I probably shouldn't do that. But, uh... <laughs>